Hey everyone, it's Caitlin. I'm back with another historic cocktail lesson today. So this time I started thinking about what are some of my favorite cocktails rather than making something I've never had before. And the first thing that came to mind was the White Russian. So I decided to do a little research and find out the history of this delicious beverage. A man named Gustav Topps dreamt up the White Russian in 1949. Topps was a bartender from Belgium who whipped up the idea along with its sister, the Black Russian, which is the same drink without the cream. He created the White Russian at the Hotel Metropole in Brussels to honor the U.S. ambassador to Luxembourg. So we've got Belgium, the United States, and Luxembourg in the mix, but no Russia. So where does the Russian part of the name come from? That would be the vodka. That's right, it's called the White Russian simply because vodka is the main ingredient. Brilliant. The White Russian gained a bit of popularity when the recipe appeared in the Oakland Tribune in 1965, but it never reached the pinnacle of cocktail celebrity. It faded into obscurity for a while until a movie called The Big Lebowski was released in 1998. In the film, directed by the Coen brothers, whose mother Rena was a professor of art history at St. Cloud State University, the main character, the dude, drinks a total of nine throughout the film. Only after the film grew in popularity did the White Russian become a popular cocktail of choice. Dude. Pop culture often plays a big role in food and beverage trends. For example, after the release of the film Sideways, sales of Merlot, a wine varietal mocked in the film, plummeted for several years after the film's release. On the flip side, Pinot Noir, a wine varietal praised in the film, grew to become one of the staples of the California wine industry in something called the sideways effect. They want to drink Merlot, we're drinking Merlot. No, if anybody orders Merlot, I'm leaving. I am not drinking any Merlot! Okay, okay, <laughs> relax, Miles. So making a White Russian is very easy. If you've seen The Big Lebowski, you know that he whips them up pretty quickly. It doesn't take him long. First thing you want to do is, of course, fill your glass with ice. The next thing you're going to do is put in two shots or two ounces of vodka. And then you put in one ounce of coffee liqueur. Obviously, Kahlua is the liqueur of choice. Let me get this open. So it's two parts vodka to one part Kahlua. Add that. And then, in order to make it from a black Russian to a white Russian, of course you have to add some cream. I have half and half. You can use full cream if you want. You can even use milk. It's really up to you or whatever you have laying around. So, if you'll bear with me while I open this. You just want to add a splash to give it that nice little creamy look. You can swirl it around. You can get at a spoon or a stirring stick to stir it up a little more. And again, that's really up to you. So that's it. That's the White Russian. So it may not be the most storied or interesting historic beverage that we've done, but anytime pop culture is involved, I think it's a pretty cool story. So as always, the museum abides. You know, that rug really does tie the room together.